This past year has really taken a toll on me. Uh, you know, I found out last June that I had low blood sugar and diabetes and all that stuff, and been trying to trying to get healthy, trying to do everything right. You know, plus with the extreme weight loss and everything, it's just made me a shut-in, pretty much. And it's really difficult to find work and as a result the relationship with uh, Maria has gone downhill and yeah it's just tearing us apart really because oh I don't have a job so I'm not a real man I don't work so I can't be a good boyfriend I can't be this I can't do that blah 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 you know it's just the whole thing is putting me down that's all she does you know because I have a disability and I can't be the man she wants me to be and all this stuff but she's not willing to adapt to the way I am now. You know, it's like this whole disease has turned into a burden for her. And that's not right. So that's why we have both agreed that June 1st, I'm moving out. And throughout this video, I'm gonna explain what I'm going to do starting on June 1st. It's super windy outside, so I don't know if you can hear me or not, but yesterday I went to my, I went and I saw my doctor and he gave me a new prescription, something a lot stronger than what I'm on right now. So hopefully that'll work. But before I left, to go to the doctor, there was a pickup slip stuck to my door from Canada Post. So I'm on my way to the post office now to pick it up and I'll show you what it is when I get back home. Honestly, I thought it would be a box, but it's a bag, so whatever. I'll open it when I get home, and I'll show you what it is. Pretty exciting, because this does have to do with uh, June 1st. Big announcement, the big thing, the big secret. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it, that's what I'm doing and it's gonna change my life and hopefully it'll entertain you all right now i'm gonna try and take this out of the package <laughs> uh, it's not working i can't do it with one hand uh, trying what is that There we go. Ooh. Is that what I think it is? Huh. Whatever will I be doing with this? Huh. Interesting. But don't worry, because Kevy's got one too. <laughs> yeah. Fits nicely. So that's a good thing that it actually fits. Just had to do some minor adjustments to it, but it's fine. Might have to adjust it a bit more. 
I don't know, it all depends. But for now, it, it seems to fit pretty good. I just have no idea what to do with this. This fell out of it. Uh, if you know, leave a comment and let me know where this is supposed to go. Looks like Batman or something. I don't know. Who knows? I've never had a bike helmet before. I hate it when plans get foiled, but I'm not letting this deter me at all. Um, the plan was that I was going to go to a friend's place and buy a bike from him. And, well, he just messaged me and said that, that he had sold it to somebody else. So, I found the same bike at Canadian Tire for cheaper than what he was selling it for. So I'm going to my bank to get money now, and then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get that bike from Canadian Tire. Wow. Here's something you need to know about me. If somebody pisses me off, I tend to act irrationally and I do stupid things. So I'm hoping that this isn't one of them and I hope everything works out. All right, so I decided to get this bike. It's a SuperCycle SC1800 26, right? 26 inch wheels. I got a rack for the back of it, and I got saddlebags to put on top of the rack. But I think I might have to readjust this. Just because it's not really sitting right, I guess. It's too far. It's too close to the seat. So I'm going to have to adjust it and move it back a bit. But other than that, it's a really nice bike. I rode it home perfect it's a beautiful bike and this would be perfect for what I want to do starting June 1st so I don't know if you can tell or not but I did adjust that so it's out behind <laughs> behind the seat instead of under it and it's not angled anymore so it's pretty much flat I don't know I'd have to get my leveler to find out hey that's a good idea this is the level that I got at that job fair yeah it looks about right okay so that yeah it's perfect perfect i am so good at that anyway yeah so yeah that looks a lot better so now all i gotta do is move the, the reflector to the back or get a light for it i'm not sure yet but I don't know, I'll have to see what happens when I put the saddlebags on it. And I won't do that today, maybe tomorrow. I got a few days left. This phone never sits properly on this stand. <laughs> but anyway, let me recap everything here. Um, so June 1st, I'm out. I'm gone. Right? So... My two options are, I'm either stuck in Winnipeg, homeless, with absolutely nowhere to live, right? Probably under a bridge somewhere, and, you know, whatever, you know, and that's not fun. That's not fun at all, you know, just sitting there doing nothing all day. Um, I'd rather do something productive with my life. So I'm taking this opportunity. And I'm going to go out to BC and visit my brother. 
right? And then I'll come back and then I'll deal with the whole homeless situation and get myself somewhere to live and do all that stuff. But for now, this is my focus, you know. Um, this is why I got a bike. Uh, got a whole bunch of stuff for it. I even got mm, safety lights for my saddlebags. I just have to figure out how to how to attach those properly on there so they don't fall off. Um, but anyway, I got two of those, right? Because there's going to be a bag on each side. Now those will hang over the rack. Right? And there's fasteners and stuff, but you'll see that once I'm on the road or whatever. Um, and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to film. Uh, well, you, know, you can't really say film because it's digital, you know, but you know what I mean, right? I'm going to take videos all the time, all the time. I'm going to document this whole thing, right? And it's not a trip. It's an adventure. It's going to be fun, right? So... I'm going to take, you know, little video clips here and there, everywhere I go, you know, and I'm going to put them all together. And when I, when I come back to Winnipeg, you know, put it all together, either I'm going to put it all together into one big video or chop it up into little bits and release it like every day or once a week or it all depends on how much footage I have, um, right, and then anytime I get into a Wi-Fi spot, right, because the, the, the phone's no longer going to work, I, I've already told Maria to cancel, cancel the service on the phone, right, and that way I'm not racking up her bill, you know, with the roaming charges and stuff like that, right? So, the phone's going to be canceled. Um, and so, every time I get into a Wi-Fi spot, I'll make a little video about where I am, how I'm feeling, what I'm doing, and upload it to this channel, right? So, I might have... A few uploads a day. I might have an upload every couple days. It all depends on where the Wi-Fi spots are and where I am at the time. So, so that'll be good, right? So you'll always know what I'm doing and where I'm going, right? So I'm going from Manitoba to BC and back, right? So if you live in Canada between Manitoba and BC, Send me a message on Facebook or put a message down below. Um, if you want me to come and visit you, say hi, you know, whatever. Um, but that's totally up to you. I don't know. I'm not expecting that. I've got a few people that I want to visit and places that I want to see along the way. So I've got all that planned i've been you know i've been going on google maps for a while um just seeing where all these big attractions are and everything i want to see the giant camel there's a camel in manitoba it's a big camel statue i want to see that i want to go um when i'm in alberta i want to see that big dinosaur um the giant teepee <laughs> Last time I went to BC in 2008, I actually slept at that giant teepee, um, waiting for their uh, little tourist information thing to be open, so so I could use their computer. Um, but yeah, you know, I might check that out again too. So I don't know. I don't know. It all depends. It all depends on you know, what route I end up taking and whatever, because I want to do, I want to do this the safest way possible. I don't want to just go and get myself into trouble or whatever, um, like health-wise and everything. So, and, and that reminds me too, I'm taking my pills 
I'm taking my glucose meter. I'm going to make sure I keep up to date with all that stuff and stay healthy and whatever. And that new prescription that I got from my doctor, I still haven't filled it yet, but I can, I can fill that prescription anywhere. Right. So yeah, if I need it, I'll fill it while I'm gone. You know, I've got enough pills here, like, from my last prescription to last me, so. So, yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, um, this is why I went and I saw my dietician this month. Saw my dietician, saw my doctor. They're, they're both on board with this, so uh, everything's cool. Um, the bike riding might lower my blood sugar too. So, um, it did, it did on Saturday when I went and got the bike and I rode it home, my blood sugar dropped a bit. So that's a good thing. That is a good thing. And plus I've got stuff to help me if my blood sugar goes down like under normal. So <clears throat> taking all the all the safety measures, I'm taking all the precautions, I'm doing everything by the book, like as far as my health is concerned. But as far as getting to BC, I have no idea which way I'm going. Um, I want to see as much stuff as I can, take my time, whatever, you know, sightseeing. That's what I want to do. So... My computer just did something weird. I don't get that at all. But anyway, <clears throat> anyway, I got two backpacks full of stuff and I'm not taking two backpacks with me, right? So I've got the two backpacks, I've got the two saddlebags. They're all full of stuff right now. Um, but what I want to do is I want to dump it all out and go through it and pick the very, very, very essential, important things to take with me. And that's what I'm going to do as soon as I'm done with Oh, man. There is something wrong with this. It's... Yeah, okay. Uh, but All right, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go, I'm getting distracted already, and yeah. So if you're still here watching this video, comment below, let me know how you feel about all this stuff. I'm still doing it, I don't care what people say, I don't care if people try and talk me out of it, I'm still doing it because this is what I wanna do, and I feel that this is something very important that I need to do because I might not get this opportunity ever again. So it's not a trip, it's an adventure. And I hope you stay with me and follow me on my journey. Oh, and with the kick, um, if I can, I'll be live streaming on that, right? So if you want to follow me on there to see my live streams, I'll be talking about where I am, what I'm doing, what I've seen, what I'm going to see, stuff like that. Uh, might even share some videos on there. You never know. It's worth checking out. And this would be the best time ever to go down in the description box and click on that support my channel link 
so I could buy food while I'm gone.